God, no, I'm sweating under this. <laughs> oh, that was a mistake. Hey, hola, que tal? Welcome back to the Taco Vlog. Eating tacos with Dan Rosa, and today I'm in Kansas City, Missouri, at Tacos El Gallo. You guys in Twitter, thank you so much for giving me all the names and the restaurants. So I picked this one, one, because it has really good reviews, two, because it's 10.30 in the morning and I'm starving and I wanna eat. So, but the thing is that today I'm not eating alone. I know you guys love to see Thunder Rosa eat and shove things in her mouth, but <laughs> yeah, I said it, I said it. I see, I see you guys, I see you guys. But today I'm with no other than Hello, it's me, Evil Uno. Evil, how are you gonna eat tacos? I have Ooh, no idea. <laughs> it's 10.30 in the morning, which is not usually taco time. And also, this is gonna be an experience of its own. I don't think I've ever had a taco through this mask. So. You have to wrestle with that mask, right? I do. So, <laughs> it's gonna smell like onions, the, uh, salsa. Spicy salsa, yes. Yeah. So I will say this, uh, uh, one of the waitresses just peeked their head outside and just ran <laughs> inside worried so i think they know this, we're here yes uh, <laughs> I, I hope you gave them a heads up that uh, no they, they know uh, we're coming masked man was coming they know they're coming okay All right, cool let's go let's inside do it. hopefully well i'm here with the owner introduce yourself to our people so they know hi cindy romo tacos el gallo she, yeah she's from odessa from texas yes i what, am what are you doing here i know <laughs> I'm, I'm selling tacos <laughs> so we so are, you can come and have tacos here at my shop Hey, we're gonna have some tacos. I like this. This yeah. is very, it reminds me of home. So that's, that's, that's what we wanted. Yes. That's the whole yes. point. When and you get here and you're like, oh, I don't even feel like I'm in Kansas City. You have really good reviews on, on, on yeah. the socials. Yeah, our customers are really good to us. And I mean, I think it has to do because our food's really good. And also because she looks pretty <laughs> and like she fixed her hair, you know? Because <laughs> I knew you were coming. I, had I to know. Do something. <laughs> that's good. I even even put makeup on, so. Well, I look, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. You're going to look great tonight the way you did today. And hopefully everybody comes out, check you out, do your thing. So tell them where's, what's the address for? This? It's 806 Southwest Boulevard, where um, what's considered the west side of Kansas City. And uh, so, yeah, we've been here for several years and our customers like us. Our food's great. And I'm glad you're here. Yeah. I'm typically like a pulled pork kind of guy. Okay. So I'm going to get a chorizo taco. You want just chorizo or you want chorizo Chorizo con huevo. That's a breakfast taco. Chorizo con huevo. I'll have that one, yes. Yeah. Please. Todo con todo. Y nos pones unas salsas picosas, por favor. Que, que a este le encanta la salsa. Are you talking crap about me? No, I'm saying that you love salsa. Oh, I do. Yes, yes. So the hotter, the better, actually. They have watermelon. Melon. I don't have watermelon. No, I'm sorry. Chata, mango, Melon, mango, strawberry, guava, guava and, and pineapple. Pineapple, mm. strawberry. I'll have, a, I'll have a pineapple one. Me too. A mí también. Y me das. ¿Sabes qué? Me das un taco de cabeza también. Do I like? You know, have, you, have you eaten cabeza taco? I'm not sure what that is. Head. Big head. head taco? Yes, yes. I'm a big fan, yes. Yeah, have, you, have you had them? No, no, no. I'm, this was a bad joke. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I'll, I'll have one. I'll have one. I'll try it. I'll eat anything. Thanks so much. Yay! Okay, let's let's have a seat. Yeah. Oh I'll my get God. a selfie with you. All right. Try to get some of this cool stuff in the background. We got it for free. <laughs> <laughs> He is gone, full Mexican, guys, con la virgencita. Well, la virgencita Guadalupe. I really don't know what to do other than Oh this my right god, now. no, this, this is great. I will say this hides my shapes. I'm I know, a, it really I'm does. A big fan. I'm a big fan. <laughs> and the tacos are here. Taquitos, taquitos. Have you have the chorizo, the first one, right? Yes. Which so? Okay. Let, let, chorizo. We, chorizo is this one. That's chorizo. Yeah, this is carnitas right here, I think. Right. That's. I don't cold. know. You. We All right. We'll, we'll go gradually. We'll go gradually. I gotta see if I can even eat this. So this is this is a real deal, guys. It has a little tortilla. It's not like the tortilla that you buy at Walmart. This is a real deal. Um, and it has cilantro, cebolla, y el huevo. Tiene huevo con chorizo. Huevo, chorizo, is sausage, right? Yeah. 
Mexican sausage, so I have to have it. So I love it. Oh, you like it separately first? I probably should try this before I smear it all over my mask. Yeah. It's good. It's it really good. It's fresh. All right. All right. Let's see if this is. Are you gonna put sauce? I'm gonna put sauce. Would you sauce it for me? <laughs> I only have one free hand right now, so. All right. Okay. Cheers. Cheers, friend. Uh, let's see how I'm gonna do this. Mm. Mm. Our host just gave us Fine food. <laughs> she just gave us some stuff because we're making a mess. Mm. Oh I oh my god am I ever making a mess. Wow. This is so good. This is very good. Mm. Mm. I'm right. supposed to be asking you questions, but Oh yeah, yeah. Um <laughs> I'll answer it with a taco in my mouth. You ready? Um yeah. Mm. Oh my god. It's very good. Mm. Brother. Mm. Mm. So good. Let me start by asking. Yes. Why why did you decide to use a mask? Are you like are you like a Mexican luchador? Like mm, I, I um so I started wrestling when I was fourteen years old. Mm -hmm. And as a fourteen year old, my thought process was no one's gonna believe that I can wrestle older men, so I'll wear a mask. But it really didn't hide the fact that I was 14 because I had a 14 year old's body. So uh, I just committed to it too early. And now here I am 20 years later and I can't I can't show my face. I mean, now I gotta eat tacos with a mask. Well, yeah, I wanna make sure that, you know, you know, like a lot of the luchadors in, in Mexico, they wear masks. So you wearing a mask is like, automatically we think that you are a luchador, right? Mm -hmm. But you, I mean, let's be honest, you are very, very good Thank at what you, you do. Thank I really you. enjoy what you do. I, I will say uh, I am not, I, I'm a, I'm a Canadian boy, and so therefore Canadian. I, that's right. I am from Canada. I've lived the same city my whole life, um, but uh, I do understand that this is, culturally this is a very important thing for professional wrestlers in Mexico. Can and you, so I try to keep it. Do you do you know any like terminology Span, Espan, in Espanol? Uh, a ver, a ver. So I learned Spanish in school for four years. I just oh. never used oh. it. Uh, yeah. So we I could have I can uh, me amo Ivo uno. I can have very small conversations. <laughs> Guys, yes. Please, please, yes. Yeah, that that onion. I can't see down there. So <laughs> let me see where. Oh, it's down there. <laughs> That's an onion, all right. Yeah, so he is going on. Oh my goodness. Is this hot, this sauce. I'm gonna put it on there. Is this. that the hot one? Hell yeah. Ooh. Hell yeah. I get this hot sauce. It's on kicking there. in. Uh, okay, let's eat our other. Okay, yeah, let's. At this rate, it'll take me. Which an one hour. is that one? Oh, um, I put too much this sauce one right in here? That's carnitas. Carnitas? Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Right. And then this is pollo, and then this is um, cabeza. He's mm -hmm. gonna eat carnitas. I'm gonna eat adobada. And this is the pastor, this so. is the hottest sauce, or, or this one is the hottest. Yeah, that one. Is. Okay, cool. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, oh, this one's too big. Oh, <laughs> good. <laughs> oh, that's good. Mm. Mm. So. My mouth is on fire. A little bit about me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I put a, I put hot sauce on every meal, so I'm still unfazed from this hot sauce. I, hey. You know what's not on phase? Your mask. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I feel um, like I need a bib too. I have no idea how much. Oh, I'm making a hell of a mess. You, guys, he's not Mexican. He has like cilantro, cebolla everywhere on his uh, on his clothes. Gonna have to change shirts. Yeah, probably. Um, I was gonna ask you, how does it feel to be part of a that that stable that you are? I love it. Um, not everyone liked the Dark Order early on. You were dying, I could tell. Um, not everyone liked the Dark Order early on, but I've, we've really built into a family. We, we've organically became mm -hmm. a tight knit group of people. Like I wasn't friends with five and ten when they came in. You really? Know? I barely knew John and Alex when they came in as well. Like I, I had wrestled them, but we weren't close friends. Yeah. Now I would say they're some of the closest people I have in the world. And uh, I'm very happy. Obviously, there are things about it that I wish wouldn't happen and we are all, are all yeah. are aware. Yeah. But um, in the end game, I'm very happy that I've found people to be extremely close to. How's your vlog going? <laughs> Guys, <laughs> Very good. Um, your vlog doing fantastic. Obviously, they can An tell. An editor is but, like kicking ass. Thank oh, you. Sorry. Mm, thank you. Gentleman. <laughs> I'm into this. I hope you know this. Um, 
I realized like, oh, I could just do this. It's really not that difficult. I'm already, and also pushes, well, okay. The way you do it is more difficult. You've got a whole process. I'm a, I do. I pointed you. I like to talk as I I feel like a child. There's so much food all over me. <laughs> all right, we have, which one? We both have cabeza before yes. you eat the chicken. Mm -hmm. um, okay, you gotta put some, this is habanero mm -hmm. with, with onions, or onions with habanero. Okay. So let's put it on here. Oh, so these are spicy onions? Yes, brother. Oh. Spicy onions. Oh, you've got my attention. These are mild, right? Typically? I um, believe. Yeah. Well, let's see. Right, here. Here. Uh, thank you. Oh, this is going to be messy. Oh. Mm. Mm. I've got onions everywhere. <laughs> That's very good. Those onions are great. Señora, esto está delicioso. Yes, I, I also think it is delicious. See, see, my basic Spanish comes into play. I'm, I may have to wash my face too. So. And your mask. That's so much yes. onion. I have to. So, true story. I washed this with a toothbrush. Oh, this is leather, There's too right? Many, yeah, it's leather. There's too many crevices and stuff. So, the old polish and toothbrush. You know, every time I, I when you guys used to come out, I, I, I thought of it as BDSM. With okay. the music and <laughs> so, everything. So, true story. Uh, uh, Evil Uno, for the longest time on the Independence, was essentially like a BDSM king. So I, I'm not, so it's always implied, um, leather mask, uh, uh, the music, the music, unsat, uh, uh, a, 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 um, unattractive physique. Um, and then I would have a ton of young men with masks around me. Oh my and so it was always God. implied, you know, um, implied. implied. Yes. I, so like not everyone on television got to see all these things, but, uh, you know, I, I, my promos would involve using them as furniture. So for example, eating sushi off a man's stomach oh God. Uh, uh, while is he great. is created as a this table. Uh, um, there was a lot of places we could have gone with this, but I will tell you this, AW and TNT did not like that. <laughs> <laughs> so he had to stop guys. So he's uh -huh. not using people as furniture anymore. My, BDC, my BDSM days are over. Are you, are you into BDSM? No, well, no, not really. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I wouldn't be against it. Hey now, hey, whoa. Um, <laughs> But it's just how it's not something I haven't tried. I just haven't tried it. Oh, all right. So we have our last taco. Oh, we're going real hot for this, right? <laughs> this is the plan, right? Well, yeah. Okay. But you're in, it's not even facing you. No, not yet. But this might. Okay. Especially if it stays no, in the No, is this, is this same one that we had earlier? Is it? Are yeah. these two separate ones? Say, it's the same. Ah, okay. Well, then. Uh, you just get your own. Take, take a shot. Take a shot of it. If you are that, are you going to do it? No, you you do it. <laughs> that is much hotter that way. <laughs> Can you do it again? <laughs> again? Yes. Oh, I'm doing this for the views. Oh no. <laughs> uh, oh, he did it. This is chilling out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is not how you should be consuming your hot stuff. You're gonna get diarrhea, dude. That's why we <laughs> You think I wasn't going to to begin with? <laughs> you think I wasn't going to to begin with? <laughs> I'm having tacos at 10 a.m. So I know I know what I got myself into. Yeah, the last one. He has the chicken. Oh yes, yes. And I'm gonna have the steak because I always have steak everywhere I go. But uh, oh man, I will say this: drinking it was way worse. <laughs> now it's Woo! You may not need any on your taco now. I already did. <laughs> Oh, oh no, I'm sweating under this. <laughs> oh, that was a mistake. All right, I will say this: uh, this uh, this wonderful piña, uh, piña, piña, which is which is coconut. Um, coconut. <laughs> no wait, no pineapple. My bad. Coconut. Colada would be right. No, piña is pineapple. It's colada. Yes. Is colada coconut? Piña col no, no, colada is just it's called piña colada, but it has coconut and it's coco. Oh, I just assumed it was both coco one after coco. the other. Coco oh, coco. it's like my brain, I see, or my head. Yeah. <laughs> my head, okay. All right. Oh, I need to blow my nose, but there's no action. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, last one. Oh, Cheers, wait. friend. Cheers. Next time, I'm not chugging anything. Mmm. Uh -uh. mm. That's a good one. Mm. This is when you know the heat hits when we all start yeah. breathing through our nose. Mm -hmm. and, uh, well, you 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 you're walking through, man. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to shower my face for like an hour after this. Woo!
This will either be your most watched or your least watched because it's either disgusting or people are into the disgusting stuff. Well, they, you know, they're into BDSM, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> well, you're going you're to find out who is uh, uh, as soon as you post it. Oh, my tongue is on fire. Oh, I, I understand, yes. Now imagine this, but with a leather covering on your face, so not allowing you to drip in any way. I don't uh. miss wearing a mask. Hey, you used to as well, right? Oh no, if I sneeze, I'm screwed. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. All right, I'm okay. I have composure. All right, good. Oh, man. Did they call you Eva Uno, though? Uh, so I used to be player Uno because I was a video game character back in the day. You, I think we have, might have oh, met yeah. once or twice. Mm -hmm. um, and because this is my philosophy on wrestling. Uh, you're, you're, you're always going to be as old as the year you came into wrestling. Yeah. So in my brain, I've been 14 my whole life. And so when I decided I wanted to be a bad guy, for whatever reason, I thought Evil Uno was the best course of action. I know, right? Wow. I know. Well, here I am. Well, you play. I play well. You know, you're in tacos with Thunder Rosa. That's What's right. Your, and your last question is, I know you like video games a lot. And I we're do. Do Smash Brothers tomorrow. Yes, we are playing Smash Brothers tomorrow. Um, What's your favorite video game? So, do you mind giving me one too? That's okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, the game I always say is my favorite. Ah, uh, it's Super Mario 64. So when I was a kid, I used to play Nintendo. I used to play Super Nintendo. Super Mario 64. There's a reason for it. So uh, I used to play Super Nintendo. I used to play Nintendo, and I never conceived that people worked on a game. Yeah. I just imagined like the games were just manufactured. And as a kid, I never understood. And then the N64 came out, and that was like in a pivotal year of my life where I was like becoming a teenager and being more aware of things. And that was the first game that made me realize, oh, video games are like an art form. Yeah. You can go into 3D, you can do stories, you can do, uh, you do all kinds of wacky things. You're going this way now. Keep talking. But uh, yeah, so Super Mario 64 was my game of, uh, uh, was my favorite game when I was a teenager, and honestly is one of the game that uh, 20 years later still kind of lives up to its name. It's very good. Visually looks like crap, but when I say what my favorite game is, I've probably played better games since, but that's the game that I remember, like, the part in my life where I was like, oh, games are, are an art form, just like wrestling is, just like theater is, just like music is, and that's when I was like, oh, I want to be involved in this in some way or some form. And now Ooh. he is. It, he just finished eating all his tapitos, <sighs> ah. and he's probably sweating. Oh, I am. I am. My mouth is on fire. Oh, mine too. Oh, you want to plug yourself? On oh yes, media? yes. Uh, 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 I am on YouTube. You can find my vlog uh, where I do things such as eat tacos with Thunder Rosa, uh, uh, wrestle, play video games, talk to my friends. It's really just a, a day or a week in my life. Uh, whatever I do, and I try to do a lot of things. You can go there. It's youtube.com slash evil uno TV because somebody owns evil uno And if you're out there, I will find you it will go to your house and I will break your legs um, Also, you can find me on twitch evil uno and everything else evil uno. Well, I want to thank taco el gallo for the, the hospitality She's still there. Yeah, there she is. There she is. <laughs> She's beautiful. One of the most beautiful owners I've ever seen in my life. I've met many owners, I will say. No, she she is because she's You're from Texas. There. She's hot. That's You're why. up there. Top, <laughs> top two for sure. Mexicanas, you know, we can a, a, a difference in, an, in another city, in another way, and they're very successful here. The tacos were delicious. Okay, now last part. Yes. We have to rate the tacos. So what will you rate? Oh, my the, God. Which, which one? The chorizo taco. Uh, is it rough to just say they're all fives? Because honestly, they were all good and like, they all tasted like great. Like one out of five? Yes. Uh, what's your rating? What do I you do? I do one out of ten. 10 yes. uh these were like very genuine you can tell that the soft taco is delicious uh that's usually like my barometer is like how how genuine the 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 encasing is because like i find like that's how you know if it's 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 good or not most people end up using like soft like shitty like uh fajita wraps and shit no like this that. is like it was this is genuine uh uh i would get i'd look hey perfect score my face is melting. I'm extremely happy. The sauces were good. I didn't have to put salt in the taco. That's very important for me because if you have to put a lot of salt, that means it, it wasn't well. salted to begin with, which means no, they don't know how it, to cook. It was really good. The chorizo mm. was. It's not I'm cleaning. cleaning. I'm just cleaning. cleaning. I'm being a nice man. Be a nice man. Oh my god. Okay, so your rate for each taco is ten out of ten. I mean, hey, 
my barometer of tacos is that they're all good. So I can't, I'm not the expert like Thunder Rosa, but for my personal experience, I say these were all fantastic. They were really good, the sauces. Yeah, also, this okay. not coconut drink, <laughs> very good. El agua de piña está deliciosa. Everything was really, really good. I rate everything a 10. Uh, if you guys are in Kansas City, Missouri, not Kansas City, Kansas. Yes, there, there, there's a distinction. You have to come to El Taco El Gallo, porque están buenísimos. And not only they have tacos, they have plates. They have all kinds of stuff. They have piñatas. You can buy a poncho. Uh, a poncho. Yeah. And I have all kinds of stuff. So thanks for uh, liking, subscribing, and watching this video. We will be bringing another guest next week. So. Be ready, and if you have any questions that you would like me to ask, maybe just drop them on the comments below. And if you come to a Taco a Gallo, tag me with a picture of you eating tacos. And if you're eating tacos anywhere in the world, tag me on Twitter and Instagram. I would love to, because you know what? I love tacos. He loves tacos. I love them. I have a taco under my name, and we love tacos. Wait, you you have do. a taco under your name? Yeah, in, uh, in Austin, Texas. That's crazy. So I have a taco, guys. So thank you for watching this vlog. I'll see you guys next week.